I've heard rumors of it, but can you tell me whether or not, I don't know if it happened at the We Are The World sessions or whatever, but was there rumor, was it truth to the rumor that Michael Jackson actually told you guys that Billie Jean was inspired by the DNA of I Can't Go For I That? Can't go for that. He, he didn't say that to me. He may have said that to Daryl. Um, he did say, he came backstage with his brothers uh, when we were playing in California and LA. And he said, he said, I can't go for that. It's my favorite song to dance to. He goes, I dance. He goes, I work out all my dance routines to that groove. So wow. just that, and that alone kind of tells you that if he liked it that much, he must have said to himself, man, I'm going to write something that sounds like that. Yeah. That what about, about so? Like with that, uh, with that said, man eater and part time lover. Ooh. Ooh, what are your thoughts on on yeah, that? Well, man eater, you know, man eater. I wrote the chorus of man eater as a reggae song because I had come back from Jamaica, and oh it, wow, oh, wow. Hear it. now that you say it, now yeah, yeah. Wow. man eater, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, here's I wrote, it, I wrote, I wrote it as a, I wrote it as a reggae song. It was like. It was like, it was like, um, you know. Here she come. Watch out, boy. She gonna chew you up. Oh, yeah, she come. Oh, it's funky, John. And so I wrote it's like, like a, like a lover's rock kind of thing. I like and, that. Yeah, and, and I, and I, and I, and I played it for Daryl, and he was like, man, he goes, I love this. He goes, he goes, I don't know, man. He goes, I don't know if a reggae groove is right for Hall and Oates. And I said, well, what do you got? And he, he went, gong, 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 gong. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. And I mean, I, at least I was smart enough to listen to him. You, oh, you know a question I always wanted to know? All right. It, I, I, this is more of an arrangement question. Sometimes there, there will be some songs that get released and uh, in your mind, in retrospect, in your mind, you think that the chorus happens a lot. Great example is uh, uh, Fonte, the um, the Rock Master Scott and the Dynamic Threes. The roof is on fire. Mm -hmm. Like a chorus that powerful, but it only gets said once in the song, and that's like that's four all it needs to be minutes. said. Right. Yeah, you gotta you <laughs> right. gotta you gotta wait five minutes before he even gets to that part. And for me, a song like One on One. Mm -hmm. I always swore to God that the whole back and forth between you and Daryl, what a wanna wanna play that get tonight. Wanna 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 play that get tonight. Like that only happens once, yet in my mind, <laughs> that's that's you a course to... that just goes mm. on and on, which is so tricky. Who who and that's a very intricate uh that Ranger, song has yeah. a lot of intricate background parts. Like, whose idea was it to? I'm surprised that it was a hit because you guys didn't take the easy route and mm -hmm. just sing the easy part of the chorus. But there were other sub courses we, in uh, there. We really pride ourselves on those background arrangements, and that's a Philly thing. I mean, that's really that's coming from that doo wop background vocal thing. Um, and if you listen to some of our songs, and I think a lot of people don't realize this, but a lot of our songs. The hook is actually the background part. Yes. It's it's very unusual. People don't realize that. But the hook, like for Out of Touch, that's just a giant background vocal. And the lead is bouncing off the backgrounds. Um, we do that a lot. Um, and that's a thing. You, know? you, you want to know how I know that that's true? Um, maybe five years ago, I got the master to... Uh, I can't go for that. Mm -hmm. And just as an experiment, I took the vocals and put them over where the background should be. And I took the backgrounds and put them where the vocals oh, were. Yeah. <laughs> Me, Rex. Like, to this, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. To this day, I mean, I've been playing it in my DJ sets to see if one person notices that Daryl's singing over the chorus music and the chorus is over. Not one person has noticed it yet, and that's all the only version I play. That's cool. I didn't realize that's that. I'd like I would like to hear that. 